Poetry of Cup Chuck and I'm up. And y'all heard Terrence Howard talk about one times one cannot equal one. And I hear a lot of people talking and it's, it gets irritating to see how people try to tear something up before they even understand it just because they sit in their ways. But for all general purposes, I got these train battles because I'm not being sponsored by and that's what I see they do on the movies. <laughs> well, anyway, let me just give y'all a quick, easy breakdown of what it means. Okay, when you have one and you put a times and you put a, another one, they cannot equal one. So that'd be one times this one. That's what we mean about that, that one times one equals two. Now with that being stated, if you say one times you have nothing, that would be what people say zero, that would be one. So one times zero equals one. Get it? But when you have, when people talking about when it's nothing, it'll actually be nothing times nothing. That's the only way you have nothing. Anyway, that was just my opinions, and I'm willing to help and debate because I have a lot of these theories, and I can show you. Matter of fact, give me one second. I'm going to show you my little uh, pentagram that this up um, I've been having since I was in 8th, ninth grade. My sister made it for me, and I drew the, uh, the flower life on it. This is it right here. And you can see how old it is. And I color and draw over it and go back and forth and do all the times and things. But, yeah. And from that moment on, I knew that there was a connection. And they have this movie, if you have not seen, it is called uh, The Man Who Fell to Earth. Everything that Terrence Howard talk about, they intertwine it in this movie. So it has some behind it. If you go check out the movie, that's just my tidbit, but it's a good movie on top of that. But it's my two minutes, and the only thing that I was saying was I'm up. And if y'all want it, I'm with it. Let's do this.